In this video, I'm going to show you how we can start customizing our plots. More specifically, we'll be customizing the lines and markers. Here's how. Within our plot function, we can pass one of a few keyword arguments, one of which is marker. Marker equals a given character. Depending on the character that you set for marker, your marker will be one of a few symbols. For example, if your marker is set to be a period, a point, each side of coordinates has a point, although it's a little hard to see. I'll try and zoom in. You can see that each set of coordinates has a point. Another is circle, that would be an O. Triangle down is a V. For a star, you can use an asterisk. These are a few markers you can use, but not all of them. If you read the documentation, there's a fairly extensive list. For our project for the marker, we'll set it to be a dot, a period. But then you can change the marker size if this is too small. That will be a separate keyword argument. For the keyword argument of marker size, pick a size. Here's what 10 looks like. Here's 20, 30. What's a thousand look like? I'm curious. No, go back, go back, go back. We'll set it to be 30. For the marker size, it can be abbreviated to MS, MS meaning marker size, but for teaching purposes, I'll keep this as marker size, just because it's easier to read and understand. Here's how to change the marker colors. This is a separate keyword argument. Marker face color, and here you can pick a color. You can select the name of a color. You can use RGB values, hexadecimal values, or HSL values. Let's start with something simple like the name of a color, such as cyan. The markers are now this color, cyan. But for better customization, I recommend looking up a color picker. So here's a color picker that we can use. I would like a very specific shade of blue. Something like, that's pretty good. I'll just select this hexadecimal value. We're going to paste that hexadecimal value and rerun this program. And now we have a very specific shade of blue for the marker face color. For this keyword, you can also shorten this to MFC. It's shorter, but not as readable for a beginner. I'll keep it as is, marker face color. Then for the edges, you can use marker edge color. I'll set it to be the same color, or you could pick a different color if you would like. We'll keep it the same. Now the edges of each marker are the same color as the face. The abbreviated version of this word is MEC, in case you see it. Now we'll start working with the lines. You can select a line style. The default is solid. Let's use a dashed line. Here's what it looks like. For the line, it's now dashed. Or we could do dotted, dotted. We have a dotted line now. Or dash dot, dash dot. It's a combination of dashes and dots. Or for no line, if you just want the points, the markers, you can set this to be none. Then we have no line. But let's set it to be solid. Solid. Here's how you can change the line width, because right now it's fairly skinny. We will pass in a keyword argument of line width. Normally it's one, but here's what two looks like. I'll set this to be three, four, and I don't know, what's 10 look like? That's a little too much. Let's set it to be four. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Here's how to change the line color. Set the color to B, then pick a color. I'll use that color picker again. Let's see, I'll select something kind of dark blue, like that. Copy and paste the color value. 
And here's what we got. Our line color is now a very specific shade. Now let's say we have more than one line to customize. I'm going to create another NumPy array. We'll rename y as y1, plot x and y1, then we will also have y2. And I'll just do some copying and pasting. y2 will have some different values. Make up some values. I'll say, I don't know, 17, 23, 38, and I don't know, 5. Again, your values don't have to be the same as mine. Feel free to pick some different numbers. We're plotting x and y1, but we'll also plot x and y2, that set of coordinates. Access plt, call the plot function, pass in x and y2. So now we have two lines, but our second line doesn't have the same customizations as our first line. Here's one option, although I don't recommend it. You could copy and paste all of these keyword arguments and pass them in. This would work, although here's a much better option. You could instead create a dictionary with all of these keyword arguments. And then when we plot a line, we can just unpack our dictionary. Here's how we can do that. Let's create a dictionary which we'll name line underscore style. This will equal call the dictionary function to create a dictionary. We'll cut all of these keyword arguments and then place them within this dictionary function. Now we could just pass in this dictionary when we plot a line. We just have to unpack it using double asterisks. Unpack the line style dictionary. Then it's as if we're passing in all of these individual keyword arguments. We'll do this for the second line as well. Unpack our line style dictionary. And it's the same. Let's create a third line. We'll name this line y3. This will be another NumPy array. Make up some values. 13, then 15, 20, and 30. Then we'll have to plot this line. Access plt, call the plot function, pass in our new coordinates, x and y3. Then we will unpack our dictionary of line style. Then we should have a third line, which we do. All of these lines are the same color. That's because with our dictionary of line style, we've set all the colors to be the same. But you could pass in an individual color. Think of this as the default color for all lines if we use the line style dictionary. Another option is that we can cut this keyword attribute of color and then pass that as a separate keyword argument as well as the line style dictionary after unpacking it. So let's pass in a color, then pick a color. I'll keep the first line to be blue. For the second line, I'll pick a different color. Let's go with something green. That's good. We'll pass in a different color for the second line. Then for the third line, I'll pass in a color that's red. That's good. And now each of our lines has a different color. All right, everybody, so that is some basic plot customization. In the next video, we'll discuss labels. To help increase engagement with this video, comment down below what your favorite food is. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to plot customization using matplotlib.